Good evening ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Snap This. Now today we're going to do a special where we take the Snapchat spectacles and stick them to a drone. It's going to get very entertaining, it's something I've done wanted to do for a very long time, so let's get straight into it. Hello guys and welcome, thank you very much for tuning in. Now firstly I'm going to tell you why I did this project. So before the black bars were removed on Snapchat it was impossible to have a cool drone shot without it looking like you've uploaded it from your camera roll. Now obviously the only way without doing it, obviously attaching your phone to the drone, was the other option which was the Snapchat spectacles. These film in a 360 video if you don't know too much about these, these are the Snapchat glasses and they have an easy record button, you may see the light spinning and that would then record a video and send it straight to your Snapchat. <clears throat> I will be doing a video on that very soon so if you are interested obviously you can hit that subscribe button and you'll get the latest videos when they come out. Now, when I came up with this idea, I took straight to the technology and decided the only way we're going to get the spectacles in the air is via a drone. Now, the DJI Phantom is the only one wide enough to hold the glasses without an issue. What we did was we took masking tape and decided to make a little hammock for the glasses. Obviously, we couldn't take the glasses straight to the drone without stretching the frame or the legs of the drone. So we decided to make a little hammock underneath and then we sat the glasses on top, taping it down using masking tape. Now the reason why we use masking tape is because obviously if you use any other tape it can be rather sticky. This one's quite durable and less sticky and building it all together we created a nice little mask. Now we've successfully taped the glasses to the drone and here's our final product. What we're going to do now is we're going to take it to the chase. Obviously for safety reasons we need a big area and obviously if you've ever been to the chase near us it's a beautiful landscape so we're going to take it there so we'll catch you in a bit. Now due to how windy and how loud the drone is, obviously we couldn't use any microphones without it sounding awful. This is the moment you've probably all been waiting for. The launch. Everything was going fine until this point. Anyway guys, that was a very entertaining day. Luckily the drone or the glasses weren't broken in the process. Uh, we did think when we took it out that it may cause a bit of interference. If you don't know, these obviously are Bluetooth and the antenna for the drone is just above the glasses. Uh, I don't know exactly what happened to it. Uh, it says on the DJI app that it just lost the compass, which I guess could be caused by the glasses being so close to the antenna. Please, if you are going to try this, uh, don't rent a drone, obviously, because if you damage it, that's your own fault and I'm not taking liability for it. I'd also like to thank Sam Jones for helping film the project. I'll leave his link in the description. Sam is an artistic uh, cinematographer and you should check out some of his work. Anyway, guys, thank you very much for watching. This is the Snapchat drone video. Well, that was a bit of a tongue twister. If if you did enjoy the video then you can give us a subscribe and if you really did like the video then give us a like. Uh, if you want to give us some feedback or if you've ever done a variant like this let us know in the comments section it'll be good to see what you guys have been up to in the Snapchat community. But thank you very much for watching and we'll catch you in the next one.